I'm so angry. I'm so angry. It's a Friday in March of 2012. Um, one of the reasons that I do expatriation work, that I'm an expatriation consultant, and that I charge so much money is that it takes a long, long, long time, and somebody who speaks French um, and who's very patient and very tenacious to help you if you want to come here and if you want to live here. Now, I went to uh, my local Franc Prix. It's a grocery store. It's part of the casino chain. On January 28th of 2012, and I made a small purchase of 11 euros and 25 cents. And we don't like that store. We don't like their prices or their selection or the way they treat their employees. So basically, we kind of quit buying anything from them a couple of years ago except for, you know, last-minute things. And um, I, I don't carry our household checkbook with us. I just take one check with me. I don't need ID. They know me. I've been going there for like 17 years. And uh, the purchase for 11.25, I gave them a check, which the machine fills out. And um, uh, the clerk said right away, oh, God, I'm sorry. Uh, it printed out 80 euros and 56 cents. I have the check number noted here. And I, he said, do you have another check? I said, no, I don't. I, you know, I only bring the one. Do you have any cash? No, I don't. Uh, but I was able to pay for it with a debit card, which normally has a 25 euro minimum. But in this case, he accepted the card to pay for the purchase of 11 euros and 25 cents. Now, I think he told me that he was going to destroy the check. I truly do not remember what, what happened to the check. I really don't know. Uh, I just don't know, you know. I, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable in the store. These are my neighbors. I trust them. Um, so it turns out that on February 8th, somebody cashed the check for 80 euros and 56 cents. And on the bank statement, of course, it doesn't say here who cashed the check because that's not how bank statements necessarily are in France. It just says the check went through the date, the check number. So I spoke to this woman, Audrey Ardelin, at Crédit Agricole, Ile de France, yesterday. It was incredible that I was able to even get through to the bank at all because bank services here are worse and worse. But I did have her email address, so I wrote her an email in French first thing in the morning yesterday, and, of course, there was no response, so I called around 3 p.m. And another woman spoke to me and said she won't talk to you, but you have to write us a letter in French, send us a photocopy of the bank statement. This is just a summary of the one thing, because, you know, we don't want our whole bank statement, people looking at it. Um, but my spouse printed this up last night, so I have to write a letter in French, which has to be done in longhand on the correct paper in the correct form, and I have to pay 14 euros to find out who cashed this check. So when I, I've been going to the store now several days this week, and I've explained the situation again and again. And the guy said that he would speak to his manager, and today he said the manager hasn't answered his email. And I said, well, you must be able to check was this check done on the 28th or the 8th or whatever? He said, no, no, it wasn't. And I said, well, show me the proof. And he said, no. So I said, well, look, you know, there's the 80 euros and 56 cents plus 14 euros, which comes to 94 euros, 56 cents. And if I subtract the 11.25, you owe me 83 euros and 31 cents plus expenses. You know, I'm going to have to put a stamp on this, which is 55 to 60 euro cents. And... Uh, you know, the photocopies cost something, and uh, the phone calls cost something, and we can forget about that, but, you know, this has to be dealt with. And then the guy was like, well, if you're going to talk to me that way, you're going to, I'm not even going to talk to you at all. And I said to him, look, I'm, I'm speaking to you, okay, it, it's true, you do have to be careful how you speak to people here in France. You have to keep a level voice, and you have to speak politely. And I said to him, look, I've been here several times, and I've been very polite, and if I'm a little stressed this afternoon, I'm sorry, but here's my, please give me something to write on. He's like, I won't give you anything to write on. You have our cash register receipts. You have our phone number. You can call. I said, I don't have your cash register receipts. I throw them back. I throw them out when I come back. Let me give you my name, address, telephone number, and email. He said, okay, I'll call. I said, I really don't want a phone call. My husband is very annoyed about this. And I really need an email that I can show him. Please get back to me as soon as possible. I said to him, look, I am the client, 
and your employee admitted right on the spot and apologized, which is very hard to get a French person to do, and said, you know, um, it's my mistake. Look what the machine did. Uh, and the guy kept saying, we did not cash that check. And I said to him, okay, I just, I am just here to tell you that I'm going to have to do all this and pay 14 euros just to find out who did cash the check and I expect to hear from you. So this is why if you want to come here to France on vacation or to live here or to study here, you, you will need somebody like me. And I'm sorry my rates seem high, but I lose 50% to social charges and taxes and everything, you know? So that's my story. And I, I've got another clip up because I've got another pro problem today that I'm really angry about. I've got three or four today, but I'll tell you about two. Okay, bye.